Welcome back to the garage guys. Well, this is the video we've been trying to get shot for several months now. We just haven't got around to it. We've got the Z, we've had the Z axis done for a while. We just needed to get the video shot, so we're gonna get it taken care of today. So we're gonna show how this works in real time, how to set the probe height. So we're gonna go ahead and probe and then it's gonna back up. And just as a simple measuring device, we just use playing cards. I got a few playing cards here. So we come up, I've got it set for that amount of playing cards. Now if Jackson raises it up a little bit, and I put another piece of metal in a thicker piece and we do the same probe. I get the same distance of playing cards. So, and that, that distance is programmable in the software how far it comes up after the touch off. So that's just how it works. If I pull it back out, we do the same touch off again. And I get the same depth. So we're going to give you a little example of how the Z-axis works here without the torch on. So we're going to start the job. We're going to move in position. And so the torch will come. It'll go down, do its initial touch off. And then it's set up, it'll do its first cut. The move over, do another touch off. So every time a new cut starts, it's gonna to touch off and set the height. So we can see that it's running and we do have a high, uh, we move away from the material quite a bit. So we never hit any tip ups of metal. So it slows down a little bit moving back down but it's worth it never to hit any tip ups so we don't need to run that high but in this case we have it set up like this for this job so with that we're going to stop this now that you've seen how it works and we're going to get into live cutting for the same job so we're going to go ahead and run that job. Uh, this time the plasma cutter will be on. You can watch the Z-axis work in real time. thing we like to do as the sheet gets empty we like to set a weight on it just so that nothing we make sure nothing moves
Well, there you have it, guys. That's the first uh, job with the Z-axis. We left some of these parts sit. They just pop out. Um, nice. Very little slag. A little bit on that one, just a little bit. Most of it falls off when I drop them on the floor. Had a little trouble with this corner. Oh, there it pops out. Another one. That's what a piece of metal looks like after we're done with the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter. That thing's ready for the scrap bin. Well guys, we ran the Z-axis through its basis tonight and just a little few comments about it. It seemed to work really well. There's some pros and some cons. We'll talk about those for a minute. Uh, pros, it made it very easy to um, cut out. A lot of times on these small two by two sheets, there's some warpage or bending on them. We didn't have to worry about it at all. Cutting parts this size, it just touched off. We even put a piece of eighth inch shim under this corner over here to see how it would cut. And with parts this size, it just touched off and worked perfect. So that was real good. The one downside is it slowed us down a little bit. The cut job took a little bit longer. And part of the reason is we're probing very slow with this because we did some testing and it seems that we get a much more accurate probe if we come down slow. So slowed us down a little bit. Overall, we think we got more throughput because of two reasons. One, the plasma cutter's duty cycle and two, our air compressor's duty cycle. When we would cut out a big job like this, we'd constantly have to stop and we'd take a break. We'd wait five minutes, 10 minutes, wait for things to cool down. So when we're pushing the duty cycle with the probing, it just happened naturally. So it seemed like the cut job was taking longer, but actual throughput probably went up. So um, the other pro about this is we're able to lift up and pass over parts that we've already cut out. We mentioned that earlier in the video. video. Things like this are notorious for tipping up. When they sit on a slap, they pop. When they sit on a slap, they get cut out, they pop up. So um, being able to lift those around these you know, for a minor tip up of a quarter to a half inch, it was real, it worked out real well. We're really happy with the, uh, with the add-on. And those of you that have purchased plans, it's available in the download where you've got them, no charge. So with that, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.